In this animation, we will discuss the events that lead to the development of a zygote, define an embryo, non-identical and identical twins, and the stages in the development of a human baby. Do you know how many sperms are ejaculated during an ejaculation? We will give you answers to all these today. When a man becomes sexually aroused, blood is pumped into the penis faster than it can return to the venous bloodstream, and so it fills the spaces in the spongy tissues of the penis. This causes the penis to become stiff and erect and allows it to enter the vagina of the woman. Semen containing the sperms is ejaculated high into the vagina, about 100 million sperms during intercourse. The sperms are able to swim up the oviducts of the woman in a liquid made by the man's seminal vesicles and prostate gland. The chemicals in this liquid make the sperm tails beat to propel the sperms along the oviducts. If the sperm meets an egg in the oviduct, fertilization may occur. Only one of these will fertilize the egg. In some women, two eggs are released into the oviduct at about the same time. Each egg is fertilized by different sperm. The two zygotes formed do not contain the same genetic material, so that the twins formed are non-identical or fraternal twins. They may be of different gender and may not look alike. Identical twins are produced by one fertilized egg. This egg or zygote divides into two cells, each of which develops into a baby. Since the two babies are derived from one fertilized egg, they have the same genes and are identical. Usually, the egg released by the ovary is enclosed by several layers of follicle cells. To pierce the egg, the sperm releases an enzyme from the acrosome to break down one of the inner layers of the egg cell. Only one sperm enters the egg. The haploid sperm nucleus fuses with the haploid egg nucleus and a diploid zygote is achieved. As soon as the sperm enters the egg, the membrane of the egg becomes impermeable to all other sperms trying to enter. The remaining sperms which do not fertilize eventually die. Development of the embryo. The fertilized egg passes along the oviduct to the uterus, and as it does, it begins to divide to form a hollow ball of cells called the embryo. It takes about five days for the embryo to reach the uterus. Finally, the embryo becomes embedded in the uterine lining. This is called implantation. To enclose the embryo, embryonic membranes begin to form. An example of such a membrane is amnion, which makes the extremely important amniotic cavity. This encloses the embryo in a fluid-filled space, the amniotic fluid. The amniotic fluid supports and cushions the embryo, or fetus, before birth. It protects it against mechanical injury. It helps to buoy up the fetus and helps it to move freely during growth. The fluid also fills the baby's lungs and helps them to develop. During birth, the amniotic fluid also plays a part by lubricating the birth canal and reducing friction. Then, most liquid in the lungs is squeezed out as the baby is born. As the baby begins to take in air, any liquid left in its lungs is absorbed by the body or coughed out. The baby's first cry is a sign that the baby's lungs have started to work. Thank you for your continuous support, especially our valued patrons and members who have been encouraging us to keep producing more quality content.